So in this video, we'll be trying to solve a question on the mole concept, okay? Um, in chemistry, uh, let's look at how to solve this question. How do we solve this question here on the mole concept? Now, first things first, the question here says, how many atoms are present in 6.0 grams of magnesium? So given mg equal to 24, what you have here is the atomic mass of magnesium. You're given n equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power 23, what you have here is Avogadro's number or Avogadro's constant. Here are your options. Option A, 1.20 times 10 to the power 23. Option B, 2.41 times 10 to the power 23. Option C, 1.51 times 10 to the power 23. And option D, 3.02 times 10 to the power 23. So how do we solve this question here? Um, solution. So for this question here, the solution to this question, solution, your first task is to recall the equation for the mole concept, right? We've discussed this in our previous class um, about moles. We said mole, that a mole is equal to the ratio of mass to molar mass or atomic mass as the case may be, right? So molar mass for compound or atomic mass for elements and it's also equal to number of particles number of particles all over Avogadro's constant all over Avogadro's uh, you can say Avogadro's constant or Avogadro's number okay we explain I explained um, all of this all of this in full Okay, um, to get the complete video of this, check the video description. So I'll leave a link to the full video on this where I explain everything about this from the very scratch in the video description. All right, so check video description for the full video. All right, okay then. So at this point, we said your next task is that out of this equation here, this equation has three parts. Here's your first part, mole. Here's your second part, mass over molar mass. Here's your third part, which is number of particles all over Avogadro's um, number, Avogadro's constant. For this equation here, we we'll only work with just two parts. And the two parts you work with is, depending on, is dependent on what is given in the question. If I look at the question here, what, what am I giving here? I'm giving 6.0 grams. That's this one here. Grams represent mass. In essence, the mass is given. So mass is check. Also, I said... Um, you're giving magnesium as 24. This represents the atomic mass. And I said this is either a molar mass or an atomic mass, depending on what you're given. If you're given a compound, it's called the molar mass. While if you're given an element like magnesium, it becomes atomic mass. So I'm giving the atomic mass, which is this. In essence, would work with question with, with the second part. So this second part will be used. Also, looking at this again, you're, you're given the um, Avogadro's constant, which is this Avogadro's number which means that this, this part two will also be used. That means we'll be using the second part and the third part of the equation in solving this question. All right, so how do we do that? That means from here, we'll have that mass for this particular question is mass all over molar mass. So mass over molar mass is equal to it should be number of particles. And I said these particles you have here, number of particles, these particles you have here could be either atoms, ions, protons, electrons, or whatever thing. In this case, you have, you have to find the number of atoms. So the particles here becomes atoms. So replace particles by atoms. So that becomes, is equal to, instead of number of particles, we now write number of atoms. Because the particles in question here um, they are actually atoms. Number of atoms all over Avogadro's number. So Avogadro's number or constant. Let's impute values. The mass, as given the question here, is 6.0. 6.0 gram. That's this one here. So this is not physics. You don't convert to kilogram. No, leave it as gram. That becomes 6.0 or 6. That's your mass all over the molar mass as seen here. So you can see here is 24. The molar mass is all over 24. So molar mass is 24. It's equal to the number of atoms. So number of 
atoms all over Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. That's what we have here as Avogadro's number. Okay. All right. So from here, our task is to simply find the number of atoms, which is to cross multiply. So this times this becomes 24 times the number of atoms, number of atoms is equal to um, 6 times this, which is 6 times 6 times 6.02 times 10 to the power 23, if you multiply them. Okay. For us to get the number of atoms, I'll have to divide here. So divide here and also divide here by 24 all right divide here also by 24 so this will cancel this from here we'll have that the number of atoms the number of atoms it's equal to i'll just simply i'll just quickly get my calculator there um this becomes 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 times 6 all right all divided by 24 and that's about what i have here is actually equal to um 1.505 times 10 to power what there 23 i have this okay so this is my answer um if i approximate to two decimal places that's equal to 1.51 times 10 to power 23 atom so that's my answer let's see which of the options is this 1.51 times 10 to the power 23 the answer here is option c so the answer here it means in this case the answer it's equal to um it's equal to c so c is the answer to the question all right guys um as i said i've prepared um a complete lecture on this concept the concept of mole uh, molar mass and avogadro's constants i'll leave the link to the video in the video description to so check the description you see a link to this video all right okay guys so i prepared about 100 classes on physics chemistry mathematics and other science subjects okay this 100 classes contains some of the most important topics in each of these subjects and for each of the topics, I have solved past questions for the last 10 years for each of the topic. All right. To get this, to get access to this course, simply visit my website, www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses. And then you see the jam slash YEG classes. All right. You can create an account with the website and then proceed to get this course. Or you can join my channel membership. All right. So you can join my channel membership to get access to exclusive videos. All right. All right, guys, um, if you enjoyed this video, as usual, please hit the like button. So like this video, leave a comment. Tell us if you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. OK, um, don't forget to if it's your first time or if you're yet to subscribe, please do want to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content. And then finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in a next class.